everybody. I am back with another um, card that I'm making for the Art Marks and Words Challenge that Ray Masigman and Sandy Keene have organized. Today's prompt, it's, it's for day 24, and the prompt is build. I've not actually been doing anything to related necessarily to the prompt, but I just wanted you to know where we are. We've got six more days to go. We're gonna do 30 of them. I, I think I'm actually behind a day, but it doesn't matter. I'll, you know, I'm gonna continue on where I am. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Lyra stick. I'm gonna dip it in water, it's a graphite, and just roll it around on the card. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, I don't need that pen anymore. I'm going to take some watercolor. Um, I've got a, a true blue, sort of an ultramarine, ultramarine blue. And some of the black from the graphite stick is moving with it so it's coming out more kind of like a navy or an indigo or um okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put what I believe to be um a turquoise I'm going to dry this. Unfortunately, a lot of this process um, requires that things be dry before I move on to the next step, so I have to dry this. I hope you're all enjoying whatever season you're in. Um, I'm in the south in Virginia, and it's, it's a really sunny, bright day today. Yes, the last couple of days have been very not terribly exciting. Okay, so now I, I always put down some circles with golden, titanium white, heavy body paint, and I'm going to put them down in some random Places. I think I'm going to do three. Okay, so there's that. And to save some time, I need to wipe my finger. I've got a ton of white paint on my hand. should have gotten a cloth out because a lot of times I'll, I'll use a cloth um, to pick it up or to wipe my hands on. Okay, so next I'm going to use this archival ink. It's in jet black. And while I'm waiting for that white to kind of dry, I'm going to uh, do the edges of the, of the card. Try not to get my finger into it too much. I want to be able to see the black from the top. It defines, it kind of defines the card better. All right, so that's the way, the direction that I had it. Although, you know, obviously it's a, a two by two, or two and a half by two and a half card that I could turn any way that I wanted to. Next, I'm going to put down um, some... Stabella marks all around the circles. When I get to the end of this, I'm actually doing it now. I've already created the accordion book that I'm putting them in, but I'm going to put all of them in an accordion book, and I'll, I'll do a flip through of that. Okay. Now I'm going to take 
a water brush. If I can find it, I should have gotten it out so I didn't bump the mirror, uh, the light. Taking a water brush and just moving it around a little bit. I think I'm gonna maybe add a little more watercolor to this. It's kind of gotten washed out. I don't mind some of it being washed out, but I don't want all of it to be gone. Okay, now I'm gonna have to dry again. Fall is approaching. I, you know, I overlook a mountain from my um, window. I can see a mountain that's part of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And um, I can see the leaves are beginning to change. There's a, a dogwood tree in my neighbor's yard that is will be bright red. And it's, the leaves on that are beginning to change. So I, I, look, I love the seasons from where I sit. Um, and I love the trees, whether they're bare or or have leaves. Okay, so next I'm gonna, um, I should have had a card out, but I don't. Hang on. Okay, I just have a, this is an old food line card that I don't use anymore. Um, and I'm gonna put some black gesso, it's Liquitex Professional Black Color Gesso. And I'm going to put a little down on my under paper. As you can see, I've done this many times. Um, and I'm going to run my card through it to get some on the edge. And I'm just going to put it down randomly. I think that'll do. Wipe my card off on my under paper. And call her done. Thank you for joining me. Again, this is day 24, and we have six more days. And if, hopefully this is not too boring because there's not a lot to, uh, of, you know, that I do on these. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. I, I um, wanted to add some splatters from Dr. P.H. Martin Bleed Proof White. And I'm... Um, just, there's, well, there's not as much in the cap as there was yesterday, but I'm going to put some there and do some splatters. And now I'm done. Thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm.